The South Australian Research and Development Institute, or SARDI, is the South Australian State Government's primary industries research provider. We do research across crop sciences, livestock sciences, aquatic sciences and food sciences. Our aim is to undertake applied science that then helps increase the profitability and the resilience of the industries. The overall purpose of uh, SARDI is to um, grow South Australia's primary industries and also ensure that our, um, our resources are sustainably utilised. So the state government's got five research farms across the state, um, from down the southeast to up in the northwest. They're all in different sorts of climates and they all undertake different sorts of farming activities. So what we want South Australia to be is we want them to be the farmers of the future. We want them to adopt ag tech. To do that, there's two things we need to do. We need to de-risk the ag tech for the farmers so they'll take it up, but we also need to attract the best ag tech in the world. And part of the demonstration farms is an open expression of interest process where we're getting applications from all over the world to demonstrate the technology on our farms so the best possible technology that's available at any time can be shown in South Australia, can be available to farmers across South Australia for their consideration. Here at Sardi Aquatic Sciences, we're now working with CH4 to understand more about the growth, reproduction, physiology of the red seaweed that we have off the coast here. So we're working with them to support um, a greater understanding of how to propagate seaweed uh, to uh, a commercial level uh, and how to grow them under conditions to increase the concentration of that compound that we're interested in, that bromoform. The global livestock production of methane uh, rivals that of uh, transport. Uh, so if we can reduce that by this supplemental feed through red algae, then it would have considerable benefits to the economy, not only in South Australia and Australia, but more globally.